Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burp, and I'm back, baby, with another epic vintage toy hunting adventure. Man, do I got an exciting episode for you guys today. I found me some vintage 1980s toys that got the jazz rolling through my veins. Oh, yeah, I got a definitely a jazz worthy score in today's episode. Also, found uh, it was a little more modern, but I found a Star Wars vehicle that could be worth as much as like a hundred dollars plus. It is pretty awesome. I can't wait to show that to you as well. Plus, I found some other finds along the way. I got, like I said, it is an action packed episode for you guys. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If you are, hit that like button and then let's roll out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, let's see. What do we got here? What is this? A little Darth Vader plush. $10. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, wow, he's a big boy. Looks like we got a Batmobile here. Let's open it up. Is there a Batman inside? Nope. And we got this gauntlet. Here's another dino. Got some Halo going on. Oh, here's a uh, Star Destroyer. Well, that's pretty cool. Man, they want $7 for that. I don't know who did the pricing, but they suck. Look at this thing. It's a big staff. I wonder what that goes to. Okay, so here's what I found out on this thing. Is that uh, it's part of a game. It comes with like dice and game pieces and stuff like that. And a stand that it sits on. If it were complete, it recently sold for $108. So I'm thinking maybe the ship itself is worth 30 to 35 bucks. I, I don't know. But for $7, I think I'm gonna take a gamble on it. I'm just gonna keep it for myself and set it up with my Star Wars collection. But I think it's pretty neat. I mean, I definitely think $6.99 is overpriced for it for a thrift store, you know what I mean? But if it's worth 35 bucks and seven bucks ain't too bad, you know? So I'm gonna snag it. Oh, this little robot knockout dude's kind of cool. It's got like boxing gloves and stuff. I wonder if he's supposed to come with like another guy and maybe they do battle. It has its remote, so that's awesome. Oh, there's the Train King Choo Choo series. Nobody's bought this. They want it $16.91 for it, but I think it's neat. It has like all these little army figures on it and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Toilet soccer. <laughs> That's funny. It even comes with a do not disturb sign. Oh, check it out. Everything was on sale today. I got it for $3.78. That's what I'm talking about. Check it it out man right out the gate we found some star wars that was worth a little kiggity cash now like i said in the store unfortunately this one is not going to be worth a hundred dollars because it's missing the stand but it still has some significant value to it and i'll probably be listing it up in my ebay store here shortly so anyway let's do a little show and tell oh my god what an incredible way to start off today's adventure we found an imperial star destroyer and this thing is so badass oh my god and i put some fresh new batteries in it and it actually works guys it lights up and it makes sound let's turn it around here and i'll show it to you in action and check this out How freaking cool is that? Oh my God. Yeah, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, now that I got the batteries in it and got it all fired up, I'm having second thoughts about maybe wanting to sell it. The thing's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool, man. But uh, no, nah, I'll probably still sell it anyway. So keep an eye on my eBay store. I'll put a link in the comments below. I got lots of stuff in there, by the way, right now. So I got like 80 plus items 
in there. So uh, you can check out the store. And if it's not in there, it'll it'll be in there within the next week or so. So just keep checking back. All right. In the meantime, let's go hit up a goody wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. We are here. We're at that goody wheel, baby. What you got for me today, goody wheel? What you got for me today? Well, you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's check it out. Dang, these shelves are like wiped out. That kind of sucks. There's nothing in this bag either. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a spider man. Isn't he cool? He's got his feet and his hands. Sometimes you gotta look at that stuff, make sure they're not broken. Oh, well, looks like his hand might be broken. One of his fingers kind of look broken off. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah. Hmm, looks like there's another finger broken on this hand here too. Like $4 for the bag. I don't know if it's worth getting since he's busted up like that. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Actually, I was wrong, guys. His hands are not, his fingers are not broken off. So, for $4, I think I'm going to grab that bag. Hot diggity dog, man. Two back-to-back -back scores. Both of these things, the Star Wars and the Spider-Man, are worth some money, man. So, I'm going to be able to add a little kiggity cash to the old birth bank. So, let's take a look at this Spider-Man a little bit more in depth. He is for sale in the eBay store right now, so if you click that link in the comments below, you might be able to snag him before someone else does. But in the meantime, let me show you, let me show you the goods. Well, here he is. Take a good look at him, man. He is freaking awesome. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size catches thieves just like flies look out here comes the spider-man oh man the spider-man looks great i love that metallic blue on him and the way it just shines when the light hits it doesn't he look fantastic oh man what a score <laughs> that is what i call a fabulous score pure fabulous yeah, definitely got some goodies up on the scoreboard right now. That's back-to-back -back scores. And speaking of goodies, let's go hit up another goodie wheel. Yeah, buddy. We had another goodie wheel. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? All right. Man, we got some, got some good scores going today. We got a Star Destroyer. We got a 2002 Marvel Legends Spider-Man. The uh, metallic blue variant. Man, it's a good day so far. Let's see if we can keep the ball rolling. All right, we're closing in on ground zero. Let's see if we got some goodies. Oh, there's a Bigfoot. Huh. That's kind of neat. Anything else? Oh, we got the Power Rangers Imaginex playset. This is a cool playset. This guy actually lights up. Let me see if I can uh, turn him here. Uh, his battery's not working, but he actually glows when you do that. It's cool. Man, that thing is crusty. Ugh, nastiness. What else? What else? We got the Gotham City Jail. We got a big ball. And that's about all I'm seeing. What's this thing here? Hasbro Softies, 1986. Hmm, huh. never seen one of those before. All right, so I was just checking him out and he's supposed to have a scarf, but he's missing the scarf, but he sells for about 20 to 25 bucks. And he's like a hand puppet. What do they want for him $4? I think I'll pick him up for four bucks. He's got like a battery pack in him too, I think, or something like that. So he probably talks as well. I've never heard of these. What? The Simpsons on VHS? No way. Dude, that's awesome. Where's the Where's the tag on it? It's got to be It's got to have a tag on it, right? 
Huh, there's no sticker on it to know how much they want, but I'm sure they'll sell it to me. All right, I'm totally getting out. I've never seen Simpsons on VHS. That is awesome. Man, I just got a double dose of Jiggity Jazz. We got some 1986 plush. We got some Simpsons on VHS. Man, that's uh, three stores in a row now. Boom, boom, boom that we've scored. I am very excited about this. Man, not only did we get like two money scores today, but we also got some vintage 80s toys. Oh my gosh, this bear is awesome. And then the Bart Simpson VHS. Doesn't get any better than that in the VHS world, right? That's the first time I've seen Bart Simpson on VHS. So let's do a little show and tell. Check this haul out. So we got some vintage 80s and 90s in the house. 90s with the VHS, 80s with the plush. So the plush is made by Hasbro. It's a line called Softies. This guy's name happens to be Bingo Bear. And he's really cool. So he's got like, um, he's a hand puppet. So, you know, if I, I think I demonstrated him in the store. So, you know, you can put your hand in there and move his mouth and hi my name is bingo bear and i'm from texas <laughs> anyway uh so we got some uh bingo bear in the house he's really well made very soft plush as well so really cool um and then we've got the simpsons on vhs man can't wait to pop this into the old analog TV over here and watch me some Simpsons episodes, old school style. Man, we have not got busted once yet in today's episode, but we've got some more thrift stores to hit up. So we're gonna go hit up a place called The Thrift Store. I love the name of that store, it's just so simple. And it says exactly what it is, The Thrift Store. So let's go check it out. Whoa, look at all that die cast. There's a ton of it in there. Got here Treasure Hunters, Return to Weapon X, Ultimate X Men. Oh, this, so those are like uh, graphic novels, I guess, comic books. Oh, there's a there's a Batman collectible, Robin King. I don't know how much they want for him. What's this down here? The Ray, five bucks. Here's the Superman here too. $6.99. What do we got here? Tanks for your friendship. Oh, what do we got here? We got a covered wagon. $3.99. Sounds like it's got a bunch of stuff in it though. Is it cut? Does it have covered wagons and cowboys and Indians? I don't know. Might have to try and take this tape off to take a peek inside. All right, let's take a peek. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's like a Toy Story play set. Well, that's kind of fun. I'm not real into like Toy Story stuff, but that is kind of cool. Might have to grab that. I'm gonna see how much it's worth. Well, only one has sold in the last 90 days and it was $15, but it was actually a best offer, which means they took less than 15 for it. It's pretty neat, but I guess I'll just leave it here. This is kind of a fun little play set. I don't know if that's a Maginex or what, but it's cool. Oh, here's a Jessie. I wonder if she actually talks. All right, I kind of, the string didn't pull very far, but let's see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> All right, she doesn't work. Oh, speaking of Jessie, here's Bullseye. And we got Rex. Let's go unite these, these three back together. There we go. Now they're all one big happy family again. Well, check this out. It's a SpongeBob like Rock'em Sock'em robots. Let's see here. Let's back this guy up a little bit. Does he work? Oh, that's 
cool. It's got a little uh, little paint wear. And somebody put a big B on it, a B for birth. I don't know, I might pick that up. I've never seen one. They're kind of interesting. What year is this from? 2004. Okay, so in this condition, they're selling for about 12 bucks. It actually has posts like a wrestle. It's like a wrestling ring. So it has like a boxing ring, I guess. And it has like the, the ropes that go around and four poles that go on each side, but it's missing that. If it had all that, it's like selling for like $25. I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's missing stuff. I don't know if I should get it. I'm kind of infatuated with it a little bit though. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. All right, well, let's check out these bags. Maybe we can find something in here. What is that, like a Spider-Man or something? What is, oh, these, uh, oh, they're just like little dollar store figures. Looks like we got a train set. Oh, here's some Monster High. The original series, I think. These Monster High dolls are going for really big money right now. And Nicole looked them up the other day because we have like a pretty large collection of them from when Caroline was little. And uh, no joke, like some of these figures in the box are selling for hundreds of dollars right now. Like she has a figure that just a year ago was selling for 300 and it's selling for $600 now. It was like an exclusive. I don't remember which one exactly, but the value of these things have really gone up. I don't know how much they want for this bag. 10 bucks. $9.99 for that bag. Screw that, man. All right, what else do we got? What is this thing? It looks like a brain. Like a squishy brain. It's like, it's Krang. Krang is in a thrift store. That'd be fun though, right? You could paint like a face of Krang on there. Oh, they went for this bag. Three bucks. It's King Randor. Little people version. I don't know what he is. is he like a Mickey D's toy, maybe? Kind of looks like it could be. Probably something really valuable <laughs> with my luck. For a buck forty-nine, I'll pick that up. The Great Indian Wars, exciting recreations and authentic stills from Custer to Geronimo to Wounded Knee. Uh, here's some more Toy Story. Somebody must have dumped their Toy Story collection here. Oh, they've got some more Marvel stuff down there. Marvel's leader. Who's this over here? Wonder Woman. I think that's the, the gold version. Remember the one where she was like in that solid gold? And then I don't know who else is back there. Uh, Guinness Vell, maybe? Is what it says. Oh. Hmm. Looks like they also have a Gears of War figure for $12.99. The box is kind of beat up, though. Okay. The kind of box is a little banged up. This guy's selling for like 40, 50 bucks. Okay, so I kinda, just kinda regret. I mean, I'm not like dwelling on it or anything, but I kinda regret not getting the SpongeBob Rock'em and Sock'em robots. Those things were pretty cool, weren't they? Yeah, like, I mean, that would make like a really neat display piece, but, you know, I passed on it. But... 
I did walk out of there with a nice money score. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so I ended up picking up the VHS series, The Great Indian Wars from 1840 to 1890. So I thought that would be a good series. I, I love history and uh, these documentaries are always full of knowledge, you know. So I picked that up and then I also got this Gears of War 4, Marcus Phoenix. And I looked again and he's actually selling for like between $30 and $50 seems to be the going price. I paid $12.99 for him. So I'll be able to list him up on eBay and flip him and at least double my money on him. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. So if any of you guys are interested in him, he will be in the eBay store. All right, gang, we got one more thrift store to hit up today. Plaza Thrift, a.k.a. Craptastic Sam's. And if we score at this store, then we will have scored at every thrift store that we visited today. That doesn't happen very often, so fingers crossed. All right, well, these Marvel figures are still here. So is the Star Trek guy. Lex is still here. They want $7 for those Turtle Hot Wheels. Monster trucks, some Pokemon cards, and uh, looks like maybe some stamps, some comic books. They got a good bit of stuff in here, but nothing that's really like, you know, getting the jazz going. Okay, let's see if there's anything on the shelves here. Well, here's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Some sort of bunny. All right, how about these bags? Maybe we can find some vintage toys in here somewhere. There's some turtles. We got one, two, three. One, two, three. I think we got four turtles. No, we just got three. Three of the four plus a splinter. Hmm. It's got to be worth more than seven bucks for like a flip, right? I could get those and maybe lift them on eBay. I would imagine they're worth more than seven dollars. There's even a Blue Ranger in there. But other than this, I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, we got our big red Ranger. Oh yeah, I saw these guys here last week. They're still here. Well, hot damn, we did it. We did it. We scored at every single store today. So these, these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that we picked up here at Craptastic Sam's put the nail in the coffin today. Well, I mean, it wasn't really a coffin, I guess, because, you know, it was definitely a lively thrift hunt. It wasn't a dead one, but you guys know what I mean. Like, it was the... Uh, it was the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking, the, the coup de gras. No, that's not it. It's the uh, the cream of the crop. No, that's not the one I'm looking for either. It is the uh, piece de la resistance. <sighs> anyway, you know what I mean. We scored at every store. We scored a high five. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these turtles. Well, here's what we found inside the bag. We had a Blue Ranger. And then we had some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We had Mikey, we've got Splinter, we've got Raph, we've got Leo, and we're missing Donnie. And then we've got Shredder here in the back as well. So how freaking awesome is that, man? So uh, I am not a modern Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collector. So I like, you know, I like the vintage guys. I like the guys from the 80s and 90s. That's kind of my thing. But uh, these are cool. And I will be listing them up in my eBay store as a lot. I'm going to try and sell them all together. Of course, I'll sell him separately. But I'll put the rest of these guys in a lot. And see if I can't make a little extra mun muns, you know. So anyway, I am like really happy about this score. All right, gang, honest opinion. How'd I do today? Did, I, did, did the burf done good? If I, if I done good, type in the comments below, burf done good. So I, I feel like, you know, we had some awesome scores today. Got some stuff I can flip on eBay to, you know, get a little extra cash, a little kiggity cash to support that plastic crack habit. 
and also pay some bills. You know what I mean? Because this economy is tough right now. But hey, if you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video. Thank you.